Hi, my name is Ivo. In this video I'm going to show you how to scout a simple 6 versus 6 volleyball drill. Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned in a previous uh, video, we were scouting the servant pass drill. So, uh, when you're finished with your drill, uh, what I suggest doing is you go clicking here options and ending a set. So we end the set and now we want to start a new lineup for our new drill. So again I press on a setup lineup. I will not change that that much because it's not really necessary. Uh, you may change that but it's uh, it's not obligatory. So I press done and now we have the second tab uh, for the second set. So now let me find the start of my drill. Okay, it's somewhere here. Okay. Uh, before we start, uh, I would like to show you the page with the attack combinations and the effects for like for very basic scouting. So uh, let's start with combinations. So these are combinations uh, and their meaning used by volumetrics, and I'm going to use these ones. I have sorted them out by by positions. Um, we have all you have also PP for a setter dump if you want to use that. So uh, the effects for spiking. So uh, for the simple, for a very simple analysis, for a very simple scouting, I would use these four effects. So this would be hash for a kill, minus for a ball in play, slash for blocked spike, and double minus for error. Uh, for reception, yeah, you can use every each of the six uh, symbols. Uh, that's their meaning. Obviously, you can use also free point pass, uh, or you can put out the scouting pass. It it depends on you and your coach uh, how you want to um, how do you want to scale your reception. Uh, yeah, for a slash reception, some of the teams are using also half point for uh, for that reception. So uh, these are the combinations and the effects I'm going to use now. Uh, and now. Um, while scouting this uh, this drill, I will use only home team uh, for spikes. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, what you can actually do is you can use uh, no prefix. So a home team would be your first setter, and the small a prefix, which is a prefix used for away team, you can use for a second setter. So later you can have a comparison of uh, of how uh, your hitters are spiking with one or the second setter. Yeah, it's it's up to you. At the beginning, I suggest just uh, using no prefix. Just put everything as a as a one team. So uh, let me go back to the volley station. Uh, I will just go to correcting mode to make the video bigger. Yeah, and now let's uh, let's scout it. Yeah, so as you see, I put just service, reception, uh, spike of number 15, spike of number 4, without any uh, digs, and I will end rally by uh, assigning a point. So next service, it's error. And now, uh, that's actually something interesting, so if you have a drill that there is a second ball played by a coach or uh, or a coach is putting a ball straight to a setter uh, you can actually mark this place because this can be something interesting for you so now uh, we're gonna have a free ball passed right so what we can do is we can actually write the free ball so it's it would be letter F uh, so later we can see for example how our hitters were spiking in this drill after a free ball uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use also a custom code of Q. Um, I like to use that because if there would be a, another free ball in play, uh, not the free ball played by coach, uh, I don't want to uh, take this under consideration. So I would like to see only the free balls that only the spikes after the free ball happened by a coach. So I would mark every free ball with a Q custom code.
close it. It was outside. Yeah, and now I press enter. So now as you may see, mm, we have this error in service here and later I have a free ball with this queue like here. Why I suggest using Q? Let me undo this rally. So I press Ctrl A and I put this free ball as 13F perfect uh, hash sign and I use Q. So why Q is good as a custom code, let's say modifier, it's because it's nowhere in the extended codes of every element. So anywhere you would put Q, it's going to be always in a custom code and you don't have to use any comma or uh, or any keyboard shortcut to put it while typing. So I will put it back again and I will finish rally by assigning points to one of the teams. And again, we have a free ball that was played outside. So we don't want to mark it now. And I press enter, and I will add a point. And now what we have was our setter uh, dump has been blocked. So that's actually something that you would like to uh, to note, right? So I would just use 7pp, so that's a code for setter pump, use slash, and after a slash put that and put the number of player uh, that blocked the, the, the spike. So this is how it would look like. Now I will go back, I will plus, I will uh, put control uh, a to undo a rally and as you see I just made a mistake and I use D instead of Q uh, so I will just change that so my custom code would be Q always not D like in this case so I press enter and that's the rally we can see so I hope you enjoyed that video that's a very simple scouting on how can it be done